there's a strange noise outside so thank goodness for this mic <laughs> anyway welcome i think um i'm gonna start this off by saying thank you to the person who commented that i needed to do a gum road tutorial or gum road video i actually never thought of doing one because i just felt like it's something that everybody knows but i'm glad that the person asked this because i feel like I needed to remember that everything that I'm trying to produce or trying to do, I need to always just not like assume that people already know how to do it. So I've talked a lot about digital products. Um, there's been a ton of questions. I hope you guys are getting the answers that you need. But for today, I'm just going to talk about how to use Gumroad and also explain a little bit why I use Gumroad specifically. I've been trying to sell digital products, I would say for the past three years, I've only been successful this year. And I'll tell you, the reason is actually very simple. I just didn't market myself well enough. So digital, creating a digital product is actually the easy part. The problem is getting the right eyes on it or interested eyes to buy the product. And I've made this mistake throughout my I guess, digital life since 2020, because in that year I was trying to start a t-shirt company and I did everything, like I did everything that the experts say you can do online, how to create t-shirts, where to sell them and all of that stuff. But without marketing, it fell apart. And that's why it wasn't successful. And when I realized that I had already spent my money and it was just a disaster. And if you have a, sh a limited budget and no luck, because sometimes you hear people be like, I gave it one last shot. And then in that one last shot, that's when I made a million dollars. Doesn't happen to everybody. So I literally ran out of money. And so in that year, I had an amazing supplier um, who would print the t-shirts for me. And then um, they were also very quick on getting their products delivered. So I didn't have to go via Etsy because when I first tried the international route, I realized that actually my products are for South Africans. So if I um use printify or printful whatever so these companies were set up to actually do the printing for you and then they will send the product to the person who's buying and i didn't know this at the time and i just realized that who's gonna see my product from america like i have two followers and you know it was just like it was a disaster basically and by the time i had figured out the mistake i had run out of money there was no place for me to start and then TikTok came around. I really hated the idea of dancing videos. I can't dance. It's actually a very like like a huge insecurity of mine. Um, and so I just didn't want to be on TikTok ever. I still don't, but I am there mostly because I understand how to curb it, and I also know what I'm there for. I think that helps a lot instead of being like an aimless scroller. And so if you mix now TikTok and digital products or you mix any actually platform with digital products, that's actually when you strike gold. And um, yeah, I think that's the gist of it. When I launched my, my digital product this time around, I like I combined a very strong TikTok um, strategy with it. And I think that is what helped the digital products blow up. Um, I didn't necessarily have to dance. Again, you need to find the strategy that works for you. And mine was to basically share about remote jobs. So my first, my own first digital product was about legit remote job sites that hire South Africans because while I was looking for my own remote job, I figured out that there are these companies that are specifically looking for South African talent, but people are not aware of them. And it's that it's like this secret select group of people who are securing jobs through these sites and they're not sharing about it online. Anyway, so that's when I compiled the list. It took me a long time to create it. That's why it's a paid product in my um, shop. Once I did that, I realized that people's people are literally applying to these jobs using South African CVs. That's why they get kicked off so early on in the game because international companies are, don't care when which year your metric was. They don't care that you're a team player. They don't care that you're a good listener. Um, and I realized that the specific things that they're looking for on the CV that South African CVs don't have. So I created a product that solved that problem. Then I realized that South African, um, some South African people, especially people looking for entry level jobs, we are now post COVID. We are now post um, the idea that having your whole entire team be remote is unfathomable. And so um, I realized that people don't know how Asana works. They don't know how ClickUp works. They don't know how they don't even have the knowledge of a, like a CRM. They don't know how Notion works. So I realized that people needed to pick up those skills. You can pick up the skill over a weekend. 
So I compiled the product that addressed those needs. And then um, there was also a need for people to adjust their LinkedIn profiles. I created a product that also addresses that need. So these are the digital products that I created. But as you can tell, they are for a specific group of people, people looking for remote jobs based in South Africa, looking for UK or USA um, based remote jobs. So it doesn't serve everybody, but the people that it does serve, they did find my page and they did purchase those products because they needed a solution to their problem and I had it. That's the point of a digital product. You sell information, you sell a solution that people want so that they don't spend more time thinking about it. When it came to where should I make this available, I followed the US gurus and I chose Standstore. Standstore charges $29 a month. Okay? And I couldn't afford to part with $29 a month because sometimes, like at that time, my products were not selling. I was still trying to figure everything out. And um, I canceled Stand Store and it wouldn't let people pay with their credit cards. It would only make them pay with their PayPals because I pay with my PayPal. Like it was like a whole thing. Only to find out that I need an account with Stripe in order for me to, sorry, in order for me to be able to, you know, let people buy with their credit cards and stripe is not available for south africans then the third one was gumroad now gumroad is great because it lets you price your products in south african rand and that's the biggest and main reason why i chose it um but now looking back i feel like it doesn't matter if your products are in dollars or rands um the right people will buy anyway they understand currency and um, I also felt like um, they also didn't charge a monthly subscription, but their fees are quite high, in my opinion. For example, the other day I had sales of $25 and they took about $5. That's like a whopping 20%. So um, I would say that's the only bad thing about them. And they have this like rates. So, so for example, if someone came through your link, then it's a different rate than them um kind of like promoting the product to that person. And I feel like if someone came there with your link, but ended up checking out your other products, I feel like they count that as them being the ones that marketed the products to those people. And I don't think that's right, if I'm correct in assuming that. So um, yeah, so that's basically what how I came to Gumroad. I've been loving the experience so far, um, apart from the high fees, but I think if you sell more products, then it shouldn't be such a big deal um especially seeing that you know it's a payment processor like it does its job and that's all that should matter um yeah unless there are actual issues you cannot get the money if it's not more than ten dollars but it does pay every friday provided that you have more than ten dollars that friday so um yeah i would say that's like the the um the summary of it so now i'm just going to show you what you need in order for you to make your gumroad account work okay so once you set up your account on gumroad this is basically what your page will look like this is an established account of mine so you'll see that as you keep doing things it will start ticking off these things so i don't do that personally okay so once you start selling everything will appear down here um right now because i've lowered my social media presence you'll see that the sales have been kind of less which is um the perfect way of telling you that you have to make sure that there is something that is leading traffic to your gumroad um shop if you don't do that then you won't get any sales this 105 views is basically people that have been on my page for the past 30 days again um, if you don't push your traffic, the numbers are going to slow here versus a couple of months ago um, or a couple of, um, let's see, three months ago, let's say, I had way more traffic because I was promoting my products like crazy. So I want to emphasize that if you don't promote your products and you only create your products, then it's not going to work. You must have a way of attracting people to come and buy in your shop. So the reason why we're here today is so that I can show you how to create a product. All right, I'm going to show you two things. One is how to sell a free guide. As you can see, this doesn't cost any money. And the next one is how to sell a paying product. Okay, so you'll see that my product here is in South African Rand and this one is in dollars. It's mainly because you are, I'm trying to cater for a, like a specific audience. So if it's for South Africans, I'll make it South African. And if it's for like an international market, then I will create it in dollars. You can see my Fiverr guide is in dollars and my... Um, Canva guide is also in dollars. This is the one that has been the hardest for me to sell. Like, I just don't know how to position myself as someone who's an expert in that. But 
we're going to learn all of that this year. All right. So let's quickly start with the um, free guide. So it's already made because I felt like it was going to take way more time to like do it any other way. So when you're on the products page, you always start on the products page. Let's see if I can make it open in a new tab so you can see where you need to start exactly. So when you go to the products page, you create, you're going to come here and say create new product. So then it's going to ask you what your product is. This is where you're going to fill in the name of the product and you can choose between a digital product, a course or tutorial, an ebook, a membership or a bundle. So I like, this is also what I like about Gumroad. They have great options. And then you have the services area, which is commission, uh, call or coffee. So if you work on one-on-one -on -one calls and all of that stuff, you can offer it here. For example, if I wanted to teach you about how to do Fiverr, um, I will select call. Like it will set everything up so that you can even set the place or the way you're going to reach to each other out with your phone calls and stuff. And this one, I've seen this one around. I've never used it, but you can like accept tips and coffee and stuff from other people. And then you're going to set the price before you continue. Like I said, I choose Gumroad because it, uh, it accepts South African Rand, but it also accepts all of these other currencies. So there's South African Rand there. It has the Swiss, the Israeli, the um, Philippine um, ra um, ratio <laughs> um, currency, Australian dollars. I mean, it has your, your usual uh, monies. And then what I love, it, it has a South African Rand. Honestly, I don't see any other African nation here, which is a pity, but at least there's someone that is considering us. All right. So once you say um, next customize, that's when you will kind of appear here. So your name will, or, will already be populated here. I mostly say free because I want it to appear that way everywhere, but you don't have to do that. And then here, um, the description, I would always advise you to have a description. So I got ChatGPT to do this. So basically, if you go on ChatGPT, you can say, um, you can say, write, write a product description. Um, yeah, that's basically all you need to type. I mean, we can click on it, but um, obviously I didn't give it the right um you see, now it wants me the, to put the missing details. But once it, you have that, then it'll give you something similar to this. This comes straight from ChatGPT. So you can change your URL if you want to, but I, I just didn't. And then here's the next part. So this part is when you need to create the page for your Gumroad, uh, basically your product. Okay, so this you can go do on Canva. All right, while it loads, I can tell you that it was made on like an A4 kind of design. Um, the reason why I did that is because I think it looks nice on Gumroad itself. I do think it's a bit too big, but I feel like um, a lot of the other people's ones that I looked at were kind of the same size. So that's why I made mine this size as well. I don't think it matters. This is basically how I made it. Everything, this comes from Canva as well. It's not like a picture that I got somewhere else. I just added my name and I added the name of the product itself. So my product was made on Google Word, Google Doc. Um, so then I saved this as a PNG and I pasted it on the front cover of that Google Doc. That's basically how the person is going to get the final product. All right. So the second part is that you must have a thumbnail. This also appears on, um, like, it appears on the person's uh, kind of like thumbnail as well of the product that they bought. So it looks like um, Camerode might be working on doing this automatically from the main picture that you have. But I went ahead and designed my own on Canva as well. So this is 600 by 600. And I wrote it as checklist cover because checklist is the name of the product. And this is the cover for that I need for Camerode. So I did move a little bit of the stuff around, but more or less is the same as the actual cover. For product info, they have three options. I want this, buy this, or pay. I usually go with I want this. I think it just sounds motivating. <laughs> you can also add your own summary. I mean, you can do this on ChatGPT as well. I opted not to do it for this product. I do it for paid products sometimes. And they also have um, this additional details. Again, I didn't see the need. Um, but the more complicated your product, the more details you need to add, in my opinion. And then here they wrote, um, invite your customers to your Gumroad community chat. I mean, you can look into these things. I don't need this right now. And then pricing, this is where now your South African Rand will appear. If you chose a different currency and now you change your mind, you want it to be South African Rand, you have to start over. Because once you chose your currency on the previous page, it does not change once you're here. And then here it says, allow customers to pay what they want. I did switch this on and someone actually did like... I think they donated like a dollar or something. And so that was very interesting. So they can pay whatever they want, but it is a free product. And then they do offer different variations of the product. Again, not necessary for what I needed. Then here, limit product sales. For example, if let's say you wanted um, 
the first 300 people to buy a product from you, then you can limit product sales and you can say how many you want them to buy. Allow pro- customers to choose quantity. Again, that was not applicable for me. Um, mock product as e-publication for that purposes. I've, I haven't seen this. And then specify policy, refund policy, require shipping information, all of the above, which I obviously did not need. So I don't have a custom domain for my Gumroad shop, so that's also irrelevant to me. And once you're done, you get a nice little preview here about what this is going to look like. Then on content, this is where you're going to share the actual digital product or yeah, so you can write anything you need here to guide your customers on how they can um, download the product. You must also remember that there are some people who have never bought anything online before, so you want to make it as easy as possible for them to buy your digital product. So you can add any kind of text you want, and then you can insert a link if you wanted to. Um, so if, let's say, your product is sitting on your website, you can actually um, put your website um, link here instead of the product. Um, you can upload the file, which is what I did, or you can insert basically anything, a button, a divider, you know, all these kinds of things. You can upsell all of that stuff, which I haven't used, or you can add another page, which again, I haven't used, but it depends on the type of product you want to sell. I keep mine as chill as possible. And then once you are done, you're going to say save changes. And then I believe here it's supposed to say publish. Mine is already published. That's why it says unpublished. But once you say publish, then it's going to make a link available to you. Um, here by share, um, they have different options for you to share wherever you want to share it. And then you can also see that they put it on Gumroad Discover. So, um, any person basically will, they can recommend it to anybody. This is the part that I think is a bit unfair because, um, I feel like sometimes people use your link, but then they stayed around, clicked a few buttons, and then all of a sudden it appears as this, that Gumroad Discover. I'm not really sure how it works, but one of my sales were charged a 30% fee and I feel like it's someone that was from my TikTok so I thought that was weird and then um, you can add tags again because I don't know how this works I didn't add tags Um, and then um, you can also have your product rated which honestly I don't want to so once you have um, done all of that then you can save your changes and this is basically how it appeared to the customer so if they click on this link you'll see that the kind of page that you have is on here and here like I said it's free but they can choose a price but the button is activated if they don't want to pay anything there is the the basically the product description we talked about they can add it to their wish list automatically it does count the number of pages you have and there's the share button so I feel like I like how simple and clear all of this is so yeah that's basically how you would basically sell a free product So selling a paid product is exactly the same. Um, Again, with a paid product, I put a lot more effort in the description. Again, this comes from ChatGPT or Gemini, I can't remember. Um, You know, I even put like key benefits and all of that stuff. And I did put in a disclaimer because you can't really offer refunds on a digital product because once the person has accessed it, it's not like you can get it back like a physical product. So um, same thing with the cover, same thing with the thumbnail. I want this. And like I said, I even added a summary for this one. Here I did activate the additional details um, button, but again, it's not necessary. And there is my amount of this as well. So here you can see that it does allow customers to pay in installments, but because it's not that expensive, I don't offer this. But if let's say your product is like two grand or 20 grand or something like that, you are welcome to use that. That is literally the only difference there is. So I do want to show you that you can create a sort of like a discount. So you're just going to say new discount and you're going to name your discount and your discount code. And then you're going to choose the products that it applies to. So they do have that for you available. Then your checkout form, you can also a little, like customize it a little bit. Again, I don't use this yet. I will see. <laughs> and then you are allowed to also have an upsell. So an upsell would be if you want to, let's say you, someone came here for the free product, but now you want them to buy your paid product as well so you can basically create like a trigger that will kind of make that possible to the end user i haven't done this yet but i do want to start using it before the end of the year so yeah i will definitely uh, be using this so yeah that's basically all there is to know about gumroad like i said i use it because i needed some products to be in south african rand but there is um, beacons ai and stand store again available for anybody to use so it's just a matter of what works best for you but i really hope that this tutorial is going to help you guys get more confident about selling digital products i hope you guys enjoy using gumroad if you want to use gumroad you can use my link down below i do think they do have affiliates and stuff like that yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one
Bye.